Welcome to Unreal Engine 5 Blueprints, the ultimate game developer course. If you are completely new to game development and you want to create stunning video games in Unreal Engine, this course is for you. And if you're already experienced in Unreal Engine, this course will still be useful for you as it covers a large variety of game development topics and best practices. Throughout the course, we will create several main game projects, starting with a flying drone shooter, where we learn the basics of game assets and how to import them into the engine. We learn the foundations of game math and vectors, which is essential for game development. We set up inputs with Unreal Engine's enhanced input system and implement flying mechanics for drone pawns and cover the basics of movement and spawning actors, launching projectiles and exploding enemy drones and keeping track of game stats like health. We'll learn where to find tons of high quality assets for free and add them to our game. We finish this first project with a final boss fight before moving on to a deep dive in Unreal Engine's collision framework. We thoroughly cover Unreal Engine Collision so that you know exactly how to configure the collision settings for any situation and how to optimize your collision settings for the best performance. We then move from pawns to characters, creating our first humanoid character with movement animations, and we cover the various movement modes for character movement, including a flying mode, and we create a functional jetpack for our character using some of the original assets created specifically for this course, which are all provided to you for free when you enroll. We create a third-person platformer with kicks, our jetpack human, and we implement moving platforms, pressure plates, and switches creating an interaction system with some more advanced topics, such as blueprint interfaces. And we deeply cover the theory behind coding best practices and clean code architecture. Even though we're using blueprints and not C++ code, it's still important to understand best practices. And we cover these important concepts when it comes to architecting our game projects, including class dependencies and avoiding tight coupling between our game classes, event-driven mechanics, keeping classes generic and usable in a wide range of applications, keeping our code modular and scalable, texture compression, soft object references and soft class references, and avoiding loading in all of our assets at once, and using asynchronous loading of assets to allow asset loading without a hitch in our game. We cover when it's appropriate to use the tick function and avoiding it when it's not necessary, and we cover the impact of casting in blueprints, the creation of hard references, and using various methods to avoid these impacts, including the use of interfaces. And we look at the reference viewer and memory size maps to analyze dependencies and memory footprint. We then go into one of my favorite game projects I've ever made for a tutorial series, a 2D dungeon crawler. We find some amazing free resources for 2D assets, and use Unreal Engine's 2D capabilities to create an action RPG-style side-scroller. Along with Unreal Engine's built-in Paper 2D system, we download and install Paper ZD, a now-free plugin, an Epic Mega Grant recipient that adds important additional features to 2D projects such as animation blueprints for 2D flipbooks. We learn how to create a dungeon tile set and create enemy characters. We implement enemy AI through behavior trees and we create a combat system with combo attacks for our character. Complete with sounds and visual effects, our 2D game project is a stunning creation. We finally close out the course with a section on Chaos Vehicles, Unreal Engine's physics-based vehicle system. We use original vehicle assets created specifically for this course by the creator of indie game Chaos Cart, and we learn how to set up a vehicle mesh from scratch. We convert vehicle static meshes into skeletal meshes by using Unreal Engine's new built-in rigging tools, adding a skeleton in the engine to the vehicle and implementing a vehicle animation blueprint. We tweak the Chaos Vehicle settings to get a realistic looking sci-fi car working. And finally, we migrate this car into our platformer project and then implement entering and exiting the vehicle, learning how to switch possession of pawns from the human character to the vehicle and back again, using the enhanced input system's strengths to our advantage. As you join this course, you'll be invited to the Druid Mechanics Discord community, a community of over 23,000 game developers of all skill levels, all here discussing their game projects, their dreams in game development, helping each other out, giving each other advice and motivation, and we participate in community game jams and activities, as well as presentations and streams for additional knowledge, and we help lift each other up and keep each other going. 
Welcome to the community. You may start this course as a beginner, but you'll leave with some advanced level skills and a solid understanding of how to make games in Unreal Engine and how to structure your projects in a scalable way, optimized for performance, and how to keep your complex logic structured and organized in your blueprint graphs. And you won't even use a single line of code. We'll be using 100% blueprint visual scripting for the entire course. If you're ready to dive into Unreal Engine and become a game developer, Enroll now and get ready to make some of the most fun and amazing creations you can imagine. I'll see you soon.